This is Bill Morris with the National Weather Service Chicago Forecast Office. I'd like to take a few minutes to review the 2014 Spring Flood Outlook released on March 6th. This outlook covers areas in North Central, Northeast Illinois, as well as Northwest Indiana. The flood potential as of March 6th is above normal for our entire area. This includes the major watersheds of the Rock River Basin and the Upper Illinois River Basin. In addition, the potential for ice jam flooding remains high. The severity of any future flooding will really depend on the amount of rainfall or additional snowfall and subsequent snowmelt in the coming weeks. So we urge you to monitor weather.gov slash Chicago for the latest river forecast. Spring flood outlooks are released by the National Weather Service in the late winter, early spring time frame, and they are based on the following information, past precipitation and temperatures, snow water equivalent, soil moisture, frost depth, and stream flow. If we look back on the winter of 2014, precipitation was well above normal across northern Illinois and northwest Indiana. And of course, most of that precipitation fell as snow. Even in the last 30 days, we witnessed anywhere from 2 to 300 percent of normal for precipitation in the form of snow. In addition, winter temperatures were well below normal. We experienced a large number of days below freezing and a large number of days below zero that produced a significant ice cover on area rivers as well as a deep frost layer. Snow depth as of March 5th varied across the area with the largest snow depths in areas north along and north of I-88 where snow depths were as deep as 10 to 20 inches in some locations. But more important than snow depth is snow water equivalent. Snow water equivalent is the amount of water locked up within the snowpack that will be released as runoff when the melt begins. As we can see in this map, some of the highest snow water equivalents were in portions of the upper rock basin and the upper fox basin, where they varied anywhere from two to four inches. This is just a different display of the snow water equivalent based on river basins. And again, it indicates that some of the highest snow water equivalents were in the upper Fox and Rock River basins, including the Pecatonica River as well. Soil moisture across our area is basically average, although some areas that saw a recent melt from the February 2021st event are likely seeing above normal soil moisture, especially in the upper four inches of soil. Frost depth is important because it can inhibit infiltration of snow melt and results in greater runoff. Frost depth reports across our area vary anywhere between 8 and 36 inches, and they can vary considerably from one location to the other based on soil type and other factors. Another significant concern this winter is ice jams and ice jam flooding. An ice cover is basically a floating cover with water flowing beneath the ice cover itself. When runoff initiates, levels beneath the ice cover begin to rise and break up the existing ice cover and move that ice downstream. As the ice begins to move downstream, it can encounter an obstacle like a bridge, a sharp meander, or maybe a change in the stream bed. When that happens, water levels will rise dramatically and that flood wave will propagate further upstream. Water levels can rise as much as two or three feet in a matter of minutes versus days in a typical river flood. Stream flow across the area increased during the February 20th through 21st rain and snowmelt event, but have recently returned to near normal in some locations actually slightly below normal. To get the latest river forecast and observations, you need to visit our Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service website that provides users with current river stage information, river forecasts, as well as reference and historical information. To get to the site, go to our website, weather.gov slash Chicago, click on the Rivers and Lakes link, either at the top of the map on the page or on the left-hand side menu. When you get to that page, you can select a particular river location and view the hydrograph for that location. The hydrograph will show the current stage in blue and if a forecast is available, a forecast out seven days. To recap, the flood potential as of March 6, 2014 is above normal across our area 
including the Rock River Basin and the Upper Illinois River Basin. The potential for ice jam flooding remains high across all rivers due to the significant ice cover across the area. This concludes the 2014 Spring Flood Outlook Review. Again, we urge you to monitor our website, weather.gov Chicago, for the latest river forecast information.